you, hey, you, you, yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I want to show you how to render some nice volumetric shadows, as you can see here, without having them leak everywhere. You just have them exactly where you want them. And you see we have some nice volumetric shadows in there too. And uh, you think I'm setting these volumetric shadows directly in the volume settings? Let me turn the, that off for you. If I go to the volume settings, turn off the volumetric shadows. I still have those nice details. So I'm not incurring any cost from the volumetric shadows, but I still get those nice details in there. But if I want to get extra sh shadows, I can also do that. Just look at that. This is what I'm going to show you. You can control the direction. Let me turn off this again just to show you. You can control the direction of these shadows to follow the sun. Okay, what are you doing? Hey, God, why, 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 why are you switching to a different video? You think I don't see the analytics? I've seen the analytics. This is where you guys switch off and move on and to watch a different thing. I don't know why. This is more important than whatever you're trying to watch. Just stick to the video. You see, at this point, this is where YouTube start to calculate the views and maybe roll in another ad just so I can get more money. What, I mean, what do you think I do this for? You think I do this for the love of it? <laughs> yeah, you think I really do this for the love of it. Uh, what do you think I pay my landlord with? Love? <laughs> money. So I want to get paid. So continue watching. Otherwise, listen and listen carefully. If you skip away right now, I'll look for you. I'll find you. And I, don't, I hope I don't come off like those uh, memes, you know, when you're trying to send a scary message and you think you have that scary voice. I'll look for you. I'll find you. And then you come off of, I'll look for you. I'll find you. Fuck that. Let me play you back and see. I'll look for you. I'll find you. And then, yeah. That's what I thought. I'm that scary. So if you look away, if you switch to another video right now, I swear I'll find you and I'll fuck you up. So continue watching my video until i get paid okay so let's go to the settings if you have a volume object like this you can use the principal shader to add other volumes now if you want details like this what i start off with a voronoi texture now to control the direction of uh, the volume shadows what you can do is add something like uh, an empty and this is going to control the coordinates of your volume so ctrl t select object and then target this as object to control the coordinates. I want these shadows to have long streaks of shadows. So I'll scale this in the Z axis until I get uh, those streaks like that. But I also want to control the direction of uh, these streaks to follow the direction of the sun. So if I add a sun like this, get the, uh, the empty, give it a copy rotation and select your sun as the target. Now, every time I rotate the sun, you can see uh, these rays will also follow the sun. So now if I get this and uh, use it as my principal volume, I'd control the density on the color. Just preview this. You can see, you can already start to see the direction of this of the rays. Make sure the sun has enough light and uh, maybe turn off bloom for a second. So our density is still too high. So what we can do is add a convert ramp here and just reduce the density by controlling this. So you can see the details already here and I can also scale this up or down and you can see uh, the streaks already. So now if I rotate this, you can see that uh, they follow the direction of the sun. Let's see how to squeeze more quality into our volume because you see right now, we don't see as many detailed streaks as we want to. If you go to your volumetric settings, you see a start and end setting here. This is going to determine how spread your volumetric samples are. So if you have a distance of 100, it means that uh, your 46 samples are going to be spread out in this uh, distance, which is going to mean that uh, you don't going to have high, high quality volumetrics. So if we use the measure tool here to measure the distance, you can see that uh, the distance of our scene is roughly 20, 23 meters. So 100 meters is a bit wasteful. So let's change this to what we are rendering. So 25, maybe something like 25, and you can see how detailed our volume renders become. Uh, so this 25 is a bit low because we are starting to clip off some of the settings. So you can increase this and you can see the lesser this is, the more detailed uh, your volume are going to be, are going to look because you're squeezing a lot of samples in one place rather than just having it scattered in a, a large uh, distance like so. The anisotropy just kind of clumps where these volumes are going to be. So if I reduce the anisotropy, you can see the volumes just get sprayed everywhere. We almost start to see a leaking effect where the, the volumes don't, they don't respect any shadows. They just render where the light is. Uh, but uh, if we, as we increase this, you can see, we start to see them getting clumped only to show up in uh, light sources. Now when you do this even further, 
can see we start to control where that is you control the sun you control the direction of your lights so you don't now have to use a lot of samples a combination of uh, reducing the end volume here again if i increase this end here to something like 100 you can see that uh, the quality goes down quite a lot because the samples are getting scattered in a larger space than if it was 100 which should give us better results or if it was 50 which would give us even better far better results i don't forget to leave a like subscribe and if you want to check out the project it's going to be available on my patreon page you have been good guys i'll see you in the next video